Hi fellow explorers, today we're in North Vancouver and we're at the Capilano Suspension Bridge. This is Vancouver's first tourist attraction. Let's go explore. The Capilano Suspension Bridge is one of Vancouver's most popular tourist destinations, receiving over a million visitors each year. The bridge is also Vancouver's oldest paid tourist attraction. In 1903, the price to visit was just 10 cents. But the story of the Capilano Suspension Bridge starts much earlier. The bridge is situated upon the unceded traditional territory of the Squamish Nation, and the name Capilano comes from an indigenous word, Caipilano, meaning beautiful river. Caipilano was the name of a great Squamish chief who lived in the area in the early part of the 1800s. Over time, Caipilano became anglicized to Capilano and is now used as the name of the bridge, the park, the river, and the surrounding area. While visiting the bridge, guests can experience the Caipilano exhibit and view totem poles to admire the craftsmanship of these indigenous artworks. In 1888, George Mackay, a Scottish civil engineer and land developer, purchased 6,000 acres of forest on either side of the Capilano River and built a cabin on the very edge of the canyon wall. The following year, he suspended a footbridge made of hemp rope and cedar planks across the canyon, anchored by huge buried cedar logs. The bridge in McKay's cabin became a popular destination for his adventurous friends, known as the Capilano Tramps, who had to make a long journey to the site, first by steamship, and then by tramping up a rough trail to McKay's property. Following McKay's death in 1903, the land was purchased by Edward Mahon, and the hemp rope bridge was replaced by a wire cable bridge. Mahon also built the tea house in 1911 and continued to improve the property, reinforcing the bridge with additional cables in 1914. By the 1920s, the bridge was heavily promoted as the eighth wonder of the world. In 1953, Ray Mitchell purchased the bridge and aggressively promoted it as a worldwide attraction. He completely rebuilt the bridge over the course of five days in 1956, encasing the cables in 13 tons of concrete at either end. Ray's daughter Nancy purchased the bridge in 1983 and had the goal of elevating the park from a mere stop-off to a destination attraction, which she did by introducing attractions like the Treetops Adventure, the Cliff Walk, and adding world-class dining. Heading back over the bridge. Of course, the main attraction is the bridge itself at 450 feet long, hanging 230 feet above the Capilano River. The bridge is constructed of cable and concrete, and according to the park's website, can hold up to 96 fully grown elephants. In 2006, the strength of the bridge was put to the test when a 300 year old 46 ton Douglas fir tree fell across the bridge during a heavy snowstorm. However, the bridge remained intact since the cables can withstand 123 tons of pressure and also possess an elastic quality, allowing them to stretch and spring back upon impact. Unfortunately, the park had to be closed for three months while the tree trunk was safely removed. Next up, let's check out the Treetops Adventure. The Treetops Adventure is another popular experience at the Capilano Suspension Bridge Park, allowing guests to walk amongst the treetops in a series of seven suspension bridges attached to eight 250-year-old Douglas firs and reaching as high as 110 feet above the forest floor. This attraction was built in 2004 and was designed to accommodate the continuous growth of the fir trees. The viewing platforms are attached to an innovative collar system that's adjustable and movable and doesn't require any nails or bolts to penetrate the fir tree itself. And with your feet back firmly on the ground, you can take some time to wander the nature trails through Capilano's living forest. 
which gives visitors an introduction to the ecology of the West Coast rainforest, and learn about the flora and fauna found in this ecosystem, while strolling past tranquil trout ponds and majestic evergreens such as the 300-year-old Big Doug. Another seasonal attraction at Capilano Suspension Bridge is the Birds of Raptors Ridge, where you get the chance to get up close and personal with birds of prey such as hawks, falcons, and owls. While we're here, we'll try a Capilano Suspension Bridge original. These are maple syrup and icing sugar beaver balls. <laughs> Next up, let's head to Cliff Walk, which is Capilano Suspension Bridge's newest attraction and features a cantilevered bridge which stretches out over the canyon's edge. Descending the spiral staircase to the cliff walk. The cliff walk is Capilano Bridge's newest and most exciting adventure. It consists of a series of unobtrusive cantilevered and suspended walkways jutting out from the granite cliff face above the Capilano River. The cliff walk path is high and narrow, and in some sections, open graded walkways are all that separate you from the canyon floor far below. And before we go, let's take a peek inside the trading post, which has a collection of wares ranging from Canadian collectibles and souvenirs, First Nations artwork, jewelry, specialty foods, decorations, and outdoor wear. Here's a cool travel book, 25 places in Canada that every family should visit. And just by coincidence, the bridge. Some cool little suspension bridge ornaments. There it is, all lit up for canyon lights. A view of the park. And a view of Vancouver, British Columbia. They've got all your standard Canadian souvenirs like maple syrup and smoked salmon. I like this here's a travel themed card game. See Canada, get gas. Thanks for touring the bridge with me today. Remember to keep exploring and until next time it's time to exit through the gift shop.